Trey, Devin, and Roberto are each entitled to a portion of the winnings from Lotto 649 according to the number of tickets each person originally purchased. Trey purchased one ticket, Devin six tickets, and Roberto two tickets. Allocate winnings of $88,000 according to this scheme and round your answer to the nearest dollar. Hmm, so what are we talking about in this My Open Math problem? One way to solve this problem is using proportions. That is, the winners of this lotto are going to get a winning according to the number of tickets or the proportion of tickets that they purchased. What do I mean? Well, let's take a look at Trey to start. Trey purchased one ticket. How about Devin? Devin, he purchased six tickets. And finally, we have Roberto, our last winner. He purchased two tickets. That means our winnings are going to get allocated among these three gentlemen, and they have purchased a total, if you add it up, of nine tickets. Therefore, proportionally, Trey should receive one out of ninth of the winnings. Devin should receive six out of ninth of the winnings. And Roberto should be receiving two out of two ninths of the total winnings. Now we can either just multiply fractions, or if we want to practice this idea of proportionality, we will set up some proportions. Let's start with Trey. Trey purchased one ticket out of nine total tickets. Thus, his winnings should correspond in a similar manner, meaning his winnings, the proportion of his winnings, should be x divided by the total, which is 88,000. 1 is to 9, as x is to 88,000. This proportion set up will help us figure out how much Trey's deserving. So, how do we solve that proportion? Well, we do a quick cross multiply and divide. So we have that 88,000 is equivalent to 9x dividing both sides by 9 tells us that Trey gets 88,000 divided by 9 or 9,777.5 but we're asked to round to the nearest dollar, and that means Trey's winnings out of the 88000 are going to be $9,778. That represents one-ninth of the total winnings. We can proceed and calculate Devin with a similar proportion. But this time, Devin has the relationship that he bought six winning tickets out of nine total. And so we could write sixes to nine as the amount he is entitled to win is to 88,000, or six over nine equals X over 88,000. Again, to solve, we can do a quick multiplication and divide. Six times 88,000 gives us 528,000. Nine times X gives us 9X, so we have 528,000 equals 9X. And then we divide both sides of that equation by 9 to solve for X in this proportion. And that means that Devin is entitled to 58,000. 666.666, but rounding to the nearest dollar is going to give us 
$667. This is what Devin's going to win. Finally, we have Roberto. Roberto's last, so we have one final proportion. And that proportion is that Roberto's winnings are two out of nine, or two is to nine, as X is to 88,000. Cross multiplying and dividing gives us two times 88,000, or 176,000, equals 9x, divide both sides by 9, so 176,000 divided by 9 is simply 19,555.555, rounded to the nearest dollar, tells us that Roberto is going to win 19,556 dollars. If we summarize and put all those numbers up into our boxes, we had that Trey's share was $9,778. Devin's share was $58,667. And finally, Roberto's share, which was $19,556. That completes our problem. As I mentioned before, when you're doing these problems, there are lots of different ways to solve. So you find the way that best suits for you, but using proportions is just one way to think about this allocation of winnings.